Hi, my name is Martin Gadsby of Optimal, and I'm here today to talk to you about PAT, Process Analytical Technology, or as we in our company like to call it, the practical application of technology. What is PAT? What does it deliver my company? If you're regulatory or quality, they can deliver you better quality product, more consistently high quality product. If you're in finance, it can save you cost of manufacturing, cost of development. If you're in development, scale-up time can be saved. You can actually get your product to manufacturing faster and provide them with the information for them to be able to produce quality product. And if you're in manufacturing, you can manufacture faster, with less footprint, with lower energy usage. By moving across to PAT, we are moving across to a quality by design process. So what we are doing is we are measuring product quality in real time. We're understanding the process and then we're controlling the process based on product quality. So you might say, well, I'm measuring the product variables at the moment, but the key thing is you're not measuring product quality. Yes, you might be measuring pH, yes, you might be measuring CO2, some other va quality variables, but in the main, you're not measuring all the main quality attributes of your product. PAT is a method by which you can measure the quality attributes that makes your product a quality product, makes it efficacious. So how do I do that? Well, typically I use spectral instruments, near-infrared, Raman, UV Vis, this type of instrumentation, or I may use a range of univariate instruments. A PAT process is a multivariate process. You have many inputs coming in, whether it's from many univariate instruments or from one or more multivariate instruments. To make sense of the data, you run it through what's called a chemometric model. Basically, it's a statistical product that is actually making sense of your spectral data. So I have my multivariate model and I can now predict product quality in real time. I now have to understand my process because one of the key things around PAT is a sci it is a scientifically based process. You have to understand your process and your product in that process. So therefore, if I'm predicting product quality in real time, I can run experiments whereby I can study the mechanistics. How does my product and my process change with varying input parameters, what they call critical process parameters? So as, as I vary my critical process parameters, how does my product quality vary? And by running these experiments, I can understand how my product reacts to process inputs. So therefore, I develop understanding. And if I've got understanding, then the scale-up time becomes much lower than it was before. I can now introduce process control based on product quality. Yes, you have process control at the moment, but the key difference is we're basing it on product quality. So we're measuring quality in real time and we're controlling the process based on product quality. So therefore, I have a more consistent and higher quality product. Now, by using this technology, we're able to investigate perhaps other processing techniques, techniques that would otherwise not be possible. Say, for example, you're running a batch process. By measuring product quality in real time, you can perhaps move across to a continuous process. And moving across to continuous enables you to maximise the benefits of PAT. Yes, for sure, PAT can provide you with huge benefits without going to continuous, but if you go to, go to continuous, then the benefits are potentially even greater. Does PAT apply to my industry? PAT applies to to all industries. Yes, you have to look at the return on investment. Yes, you have to see whether the instrumentation is available to measure the quality attributes that I'm interested in, but it has the potential to be a paradigm shift to your industry. So is it easy? Well, the answer is, is not as difficult as you may think. The biggest first hurdle is a cultural change. Because if you've been manufacturing the traditional way for many, many years, then it is a complete mindset change as to how you're now gonna manufacture. Once you have that culture, then you need to look at skill sets and technologies. You need a wide range of skill sets. And if you don't have these within your organisation, you can engage with third parties who will help you and bring you along the road to PAT success. You also need a broad range of technologies. You need MVA software, multivariate analysis software. You need DOE software, design of experiment software. And you need a product such as our own, SintiQ, which is the knowledge management software that ties all the IT systems and instruments together. This is a very much a technology for you to adopt. Many of the large pharmaceutical manufacturers are already adopting PAT. They have moved the technology from the laboratory through pilot plants and are now in full-scale GMP manufacture. They are truly reaping the benefits in terms of quality, cost and time. This will become the norm in the not too distant future. So if you're starting the deployment of a PAT project and you have any questions, you need any assistance, 
then we at Optimal have 17 years of experience of deploying PAT systems and supplying software to support PAT systems. Just give us a call.